all, this is Pete. Welcome back to Handicap Outdoors. And welcome back to another fishing adventure. Um, today, we are taking the boat. Uh, this is the first video after getting the trailer repaired. I have the new bunks on there with the carpet. Uh, it's starting to peel a little bit there. We're going to have it in the water for the first time to see if the great stuff actually holds after getting soaked. Um, we're going to go in a place where I can completely submerge the trailer and not have to worry about the boat just, you know, being washed away. Um, as you can see, I also have a new rubber V on there. The old one <laughs> literally fell apart. <laughs> um, another thing you might notice is I still have a broken cable. So... That's something I still have to refer, uh, repair. And this little welded nut on a piece of threaded screw, or threaded rod that uh, came on the boat, well, that's going to get upgraded to a larger eye bolt. You know, a large ring on the end of a uh, rod. That's actually going to fit the clip on there, so I have a... Uh, better angle of pull on that. Um, I'm thinking about upgrading that as well because that is a pain in the butt to turn. Hopefully I can opt for something uh, electric, possibly, um, if I'm able to afford it. If not, oh well, I can just, uh, you know, repair the cable, whatnot. We'll see how it goes. But, as of right now, I have my motor, battery, and uh, gas can in there. I have the paddles, just in case. I have everything all wired up. And something you may or may not know to use, a padlock on your ball hitch receiver. Personally, I'd like to have a uh, locking draw pin as well. I do not have one of those yet. Those are like 30, 40 bucks, but I just happen to have an extra master lock laying around for this. Number one, it keeps this from getting stolen. Uh, when this is put up and the master lock is on it, someone can put it on their ball hitch, but they cannot get it to close and therefore they cannot drive down the road with it. It'll pop off on the first bump. If you have it latched down and the master lock on it, someone can just pound it onto their trailer and then cut it off when they get home. Another thing, when you have it on there like that and you're at the boat dock, there have been a bunch of kids and whatnot going around. I don't know if it's where you live or not, but it's happened a few times where I live. Kids will go around and as a prank, they'll unhook your chains, They'll unhook your ball hitch, one or the other, and then when you go to drive away, and they'll do this to $100,000 boats and trailers, and not even know that they're doing it to $100,000 boats and trailers. They'll get away scot-free, but people without insurance, well, <laughs> there goes their $100,000 boat right on the highway. But, uh, yeah, if you have it, master locked on there like that and then you check all your wiring and your chains before you leave you have nothing to worry about so i'm gonna cut this part short and we're gonna get on the road um it's about 20 30 minute drive to where we're going so well let's just get there i need to stop and grab something to eat because <laughs> I don't know about you, but my meds ain't sitting too well in the morning. And it is a hot and humid one today. I guess it's around 80% humidity. I honestly don't do well in humidity. But I'm hoping down by the river it's going to be nicer. And we have a lot of wind today. It's uh, 15 mile an hour winds. So I'm going to go to a spot that's away from the... Uh, away from the current and away from the wind and uh, 
Hopefully we don't get pushed around too much. The water temp is in the mid 60s right now and has been in the mid 60s for a few days. So it should mean the bass have spawned, begun to spawn, are in the middle of the spawn. Um, so we should be able to catch some bass on beds still. Um, I'm gonna try fishing for bass. Um, I have a couple new plastic baits I'd like to try. Um, some top water, some uh, some sinking plastics and whatnot. I'm gonna try and Texas rig up, throw around, see how it goes. And yeah, we're just gonna see how it goes and uh, have a lot of fun today. Catch you on the water. Hey y'all, welcome back. We are at the water. Um. Water's a lot lower than it was last time I was here. Last time I was here, the water was, oh, right about here. <laughs> so I was floating the boat at the end of this concrete part, and the wood part wasn't even there. So, uh, yeah. Now I have the boat here, and getting down off of this part is going to be a challenge. I think I'm gonna have to swing the boat over to the sandbar area sideways a bit in order for me to get on it. And when I get out further, I will get back to you. Hey y'all, welcome back to Handicap Outdoors. Um, I am at a nice little location. Um, it took a while to get away from that dock, I will admit. Um, the, uh, wind was so strong that it kept pushing me back into the dock. Literally, I was bouncing off of the dock. <laughs> it was a little bit on the ridiculous side. Um, I ended up having to, uh, lasso the dock, point my bow into the wind, um, start up my motor, uh, rev it up halfway and then uh, basically try and unhook myself while the motor was pushing me away from the dock. It was a little bit of a interesting maneuver, especially since I had to stretch and contort to do it and that didn't feel the greatest. But yeah, um, after I got away from the dock, it was relatively smooth sailing. As long as I had the motor halfway, halfway revved, I was able to fight the wind. Um, I managed to get out of the wind in this little cove area further down. Um, I'll admit I'm still in the current a little bit. Uh, not really current, but uh, wind. Um, I drop anchor and I'm all right. But uh, right now, I'm just using a little scum frog, little popping scum frog, uh, picked up. And uh, going to try popping across some of these little areas. I also have some uh, lizards, some small and large lizards that I'm going to be uh, Texas rigging and... Uh, probably weightless Texas rigging and just tossing around um, and seeing how that goes. Um, see if I can get a bedded bass to uh, bite <laughs> since this is the uh, spawn, early spawn, give or take. <laughs> so, yeah. We will see how it all goes. I'll bring you back if I happen to catch fish. Hey y'all. It is around five o'clock. Five, six o'clock. Yeah, closer to six o'clock. Um, I've been fishing for roughly five hours total. And 
I've only had a couple strikes, you know, a couple swipes on a single cast, same cast, on a green scum frog. Other than that, I've gone around the perimeter of this entire pond area. Um, oh, found a little friend. I'm being blown around by the damn wind. Got a turtle sitting over there on the log. He's been there about, eh, he has been there the last 10 minutes while I was on the phone. But, uh, yeah. It's been windy. My battery on the trolling motor is, eh, pretty much I'm barely able to maneuver with the wind at the moment, so I'm basically on my way back to the landing, letting the wind push me down to the landing, and I'm trying to avoid the trees and whatnot along the shore. Um, I did some research and whatnot about what's been biting here lately since I haven't had a single take on anything. Um, so walleye, bowfin, large and smallmouth bass have been biting a lot today. But They've been biting on live bait, mostly. And I don't have any live bait. Um, I'm thinking about rigging up my two little poles with uh, the small hooks and dropping them down, see if I can catch some small bait fish. Um, I have my, uh, graph up and running. Damn it. Alright. I have that. Um. I forget what it's called. It holds boards together for, uh, it's a board clamp or something like that. I have my, uh, transducer on the bottom of it. And it's uh, basically clamped to the bottom of the boat and over the edge with a rubber pad on it so it doesn't uh, scratch anything and so it has a little more grip. And I have my Garmin Striker 4. This is an older one, but I have it mounted on top of a um, little ammo can. And I have a couple of, uh, you know, 12 volt outlets. I have a couple of switches that I haven't made holes for yet. And right now that's being run off of a uh, drill battery. Pull that out so you can see. I have that running off of a lithium drill battery. So, and it lasts pretty good, as it is. And I have the power wire coming through the side here, right here. And the transducer cable is, well, just strung up there. But, with this setup, I can take it from boat to boat, I can hang it off a dock, 
I can uh, take it ice fishing with me. But I have been seeing, um, right now I'm close to the shore and I'm anchored out, but over about 50 feet, no, not even 50 feet, 20 feet that way, I had uh, little, uh, little clouds that uh, showed up, kind of like that right there and uh, those were uh, those are bait fish yeah just like that right there those are small swarms of bait fish swimming around close to the bottom but I also had at around five feet and ten feet deep when I was out in the 14 foot area and it gets out to 40 foot deep in a couple spots out here but there were some uh, fish swimming around at five feet and nine feet deep that were being marked on my uh, screen, uh, screen here I was gonna cast out couple smaller lines and uh, you know just see if I could catch some bait fish but I don't know I'm losing the sunlight got about three hours left so I'm gonna head down that way and try to cast around the docks I don't know switch from bass to crappie see if anything comes up So, hey everyone, I'm back. Whew. I am back. It is sunset. I did not catch any fish. Um, had a couple things swipe at my scum frog. Had something eat my scum frog and bite it off I don't know how the hell the thing bit it off I had a 30 pound titanium leader on it so that is disappointing so yep the bass were like in the popping scum frog, or something was like in the popping scum frog, green color. And, uh, yeah. It is sunset. I am beat. And I think it's about time I head home. So, y'all have a good one. And remember, you don't have to be healthy to enjoy the outdoors. Even if you are handicapped, you can enjoy the outdoors. This is Pete with Handicap Outdoors. Have a good one. Having the right battery really fucking helps. Jesus Christ.